Since I started surfing when I was 14, um, big waves was always kind of something that fascinated me because I couldn't do it. I was so scared of the ocean. And um, so I think I always kind of, I always saw it and thought it was so cool, you know. I remember watching Blue Crush like for five times in a row, laying on my bed, just like really tripping on it. So I thought it was really cool. When I first came to Hall, I was 17 and it was a really good winter. The eddy was on and Bruce Irons won it, the waves were really perfect. And that really kind of inspired me, you know, it was the first time I ever saw big waves in real life. And I thought it was so amazing and I saw there were so many guys that could do it. And I thought it would be really cool if there was a woman that could do it. I just kind of set myself a goal, you know, I thought if I could surf the bay, <laughs> 25 feet bay, like I saw in the 80, in four years, that would be awesome. I actually did that the next year <laughs> when I was 18. It was, it was just exciting, you know, it was something that I knew would take so much dedication of me and so much focus and so much hard work. And I thought the result, if I could ever do it, it would be the most amazing thing I could do. So that's why I kind of went for it. I think in a young age, I just got disattached to so many things that really gave me the opportunity to do whatever I wanted and to dream with whatever I wanted to do. I was just on my own, <laughs> traveling, and I had no limits, so I think that's why I really went for big wave surfing, you know. You know, I think everything I do in the ocean is just kind of, just a, it's just what I do in land. <laughs> you know, it's it's me. It's like I'll do anything I do out there in in my life. I think that extra commitment. You know, the fact that. I changed so much in my life to be who I am and I did so much for the sport and I did and I do, you know, every day and that's what I am, you know, <laughs> I do everything I do for it so when, when time comes and, and it's the real deal, it's hard to turn around and, and let it go, you know, because you only have so many chances so when everything is on the line you just, you just go, you know you know what you've done to be there, so you take the risk. <laughs>